Today, we're diving into the exciting world of Samsung's upcoming mid-range powerhouse, the Galaxy A56 and its potential new heart, the Exynos 1580 processor. This news has tech enthusiasts buzzing and we can't wait to unpack all the details. So let's get into it. Not too long ago, we got a sneak peek at performance results from what's expected to be the Exynos 1580, Samsung's next generation mid-range processor. Recently, fresh benchmarks from a key device using this chip have surfaced. The Samsung Galaxy A56 carrying the model number SMA566B with a confirmed chipset of S5E8855. So what do these performance results tell us? The Exynos 1580 boasts an impressive octa-core configuration. That means it has eight CPU cores designed for both power and efficiency. Specifically, there's one high-performance core operating at a remarkable 2.99 GHz, three mid-level cores running at 2.60 GHz, and four additional smaller cores at 1.95 GHz. This new setup indicates a significant enhancement in single-core performance, which is particularly important for tasks that demand high processing power. It's worth noting that this architecture represents a shift from previous mid-range offerings. Let's turn our attention to the graphics performance. The latest Geekbench data provides insight into the GPU of the Exynos 1580, known internally as Angel. This chip will feature the Eclipse 540 GPU. For context, last year's processors utilized the Eclipse 530 dubbed Python, which was rooted in AMD's RDNA2 architecture. The exciting part here is the expected technological leap. There's a strong possibility that the new Sclips 540 will feature the more advanced RDNA3 architecture. If you consider the Exynos 2400, whose GPU, the Sclips 940, is already using RDNA3, it's clear that Samsung is pushing for higher standards. This upgrade means the Galaxy A56 could achieve remarkable graphics performance, making it a formidable player in the competitive mid-range smartphone market. Gamers and content creators, rejoice. Now let's discuss RAM and software. The Galaxy of 56 has been tested with a considerable 8 gigabytes of RAM. This is in line with its predecessor, the A55, which offered configurations ranging from 6 gigabytes to 12 gigabytes. The combination of this powerful hardware paired with ample RAM suggests that multitasking and high performance experiences will be smooth and efficient on this device. Whether you're gaming, streaming, or multitasking between apps, the A56 seems to be geared for it all. There's more good news. The A56 is reportedly running on the latest Android 15. This is particularly noteworthy when you compare it to other devices like the Galaxy S24 Fan Edition, which launched with Android 14 and the less powerful Exynos 2400. By opting to launch the A56 with the very latest software, Samsung is evidently positioning this device as a frontrunner in a mid-range category, which will be appealing for those who value both performance and the latest features. Now, you might be wondering when you can actually get your hands on the Galaxy A56. While we're still in the early stages of performance testing and refinement, initial tests are already showing promising improvements. It's still too soon to get overly invested in the benchmarks, but the early signs are encouraging. Looking ahead, history suggests that Samsung usually unveils its A-series devices in mid-March. Based on previous release patterns for models like the A55, A54, and A53, we can reasonably expect the Galaxy A50 sticks to be launched around that time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech insights, reviews, and news. What do you think about these new developments? Are you excited for the Galaxy A56? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I appreciate your support and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. 
In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series, returns offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. 
Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to oversharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.